Blood Guilt Written by Damon the Writer Narrated by Ron Garner Sorry, old friend. Amos thought while shoveling sand out of the grave. He'd been digging the sand hole in a dark secluded area of the desert and using a shitty van's running headlights to illuminate his workspace. As Amos shoveled, his mind wondered as it often did when he was alone and conducting repetitive tasks. He wondered where he heard the three-word phrase and why it came to his mind so suddenly, and then wondered where thoughts came from in the first place, until finally Amos wondered if the hole was deep enough and ultimately decided it was. Using the shovel for balance, Amos clambered his way out of the grave and into the full illumination of the band's headlights. He stretched the kinks out of his body and let a nice breeze cool his humid skin. He then wiped the loose sand from his dark slacks, white button-up, and ostrich shoes. Shit, he thought while observing his footwear. Another six bills down the drain. In Amos's line of work, one never knew when burying a body would become priority. That's exactly why he only wore ostrich shoes on the job and not his $1,200 gaiters. All right, he thought with a surge of finality. Time to get back to it. As Amos motioned to the rumbling van, the three words echoed his mind again. Sorry, old friend. But this time, the words came with a weight that slowed Amos to a reflective halt. Ever since he joined Gomez's crew, the old-timers had been warning him about the eventual toll the job took on everyone. Yeah, the pay was good, they'd say, but after a while, all the things they'd see and do would inevitably wreak havoc on the psyche. Some suffered night terrors and or extreme paranoia, and if that was all one contended with, they were considered lucky, because most of the time, the occupation would induce breakdowns or even suicide. With another surge of finality, Amos decided he was tired of thinking. He retrieved the Beretta from the small of his back and looked toward the piece of shit van. Although, Amos couldn't seem to remember what was in the vehicle, nor could he recall how he got to the secluded area in the first place. In fact, Amos didn't even remember digging the grave. It was as if he'd appeared there with most of the work done for him. Something was definitely off, and the more Amos thought about it, the more he feared who, or what, was waiting for him inside that van. His fears of the unknown became so strong, they devolved Amos's logic to a place where aiming a pistol to his temple seemed more feasible than checking the contents of a van. With the gun pointed at his head, Amos looked down at the fresh sand hole and wondered if that grade had been meant for him all along. Then, once he realized he was doing it again, Amos decided to stop thinking altogether. <laughs>